Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about step functions. So a step function is a piecewise function, however it is defined by a constant value over each part of its domain. So if we think about linear functions when they are constant, a constant function, that would be like a horizontal line. And so we've talked about that's y equals a number, right? So like f of x equals 2, f of x equals 3. So that's just going to give us horizontal lines. So that's kind of why it's called a step function, because when you look at the graph, it's like a series of steps or as a series of line segments, OK? So we're going to look at two examples. Um, example number one wants us to graph the step function, and then we're going to describe the domain and the range, OK? So we look at our step function over here on the left, and we see f of x equals 3 if x is between 0 and 2, 4, 5, 6. So it looks like a piecewise function in the way it's written. And so now we're going to graph it. OK, so the first piece, f of x equals 3 if x is between 0 and 2. Notice our inequality symbols. It's a or equal to on 0. So we need to have a closed circle on 0 and an open circle on 2. OK, so this is when y is 3, right? So that's going to be right there. So we're going to put a closed circle here on 3. And it goes all the way to 2. And at 2, we have an open circle. OK, so now from here, we can just draw a line to connect those points. OK, so that's what that first step would look like. Then from there, we have y is equal to 4 if x is between 2 and 4. OK, so now we move up to 4. Now we have a closed circle on 4. And we have, or excuse me, a closed circle when x is 2 and an open circle when y is 4 or when x is 4. So now we draw our line to connect those two points. And we have our next piece or our next step. And the next one is y is equal to 5 when x is between 4 with a closed circle and 6 with an open circle. And now we can draw our line to connect those. And the last piece, y is equal to 6, or f of x equals 6. And we have 6 here with a closed circle. And we would have our open circle on 8. x is 8. OK, so now we draw our line to connect those. And we have graphed our step function. OK, so notice how it looks like some steps. And it's a series of line segments. One thing to note, we always want to have one open circle and one closed circle, or at least two open circles, right? We can't have two closed circles there on top of each other, because then that would not pass the vertical line test, and it wouldn't be a function, OK? All right, next example. Um, it gives us a little bit of a scenario. It says the rates for a parking lot are $6 per hour with a $28 daily maximum, OK? So we can actually write a step function for this and graph it, OK? So let's actually write our step function first. So let's say f of x equals, and we'll draw our big open set notation there. And so let's think about it. If we park for one hour, it will cost us $6. If we park for two hours, it'll cost us 12. Three hours will be 18. Four hours will be 24. And let me make this a little bit bigger. And after that, after the, after the fourth hour, right? If we were to park for into the fifth hour, it would be $30 for an extra $6, but the maximum is 28, okay? So the most money we're gonna pay is $28, okay? So instead of writing 30 there, we're gonna write 28. Okay, so now we can write our domain restriction. Okay, so this would be like from, so if x is, well, excuse me, if, and now this is gonna be if we are between zero and one hour, right? So we're going to say between 0 and 1 hour. And the reason why we put the or equal to on 1, um, it wouldn't make sense for us to put it on 0, right? Because that means 0 means we're not parking our car in the parking lot. So if we don't park the car, then we don't pay any money, right? But we pay $6 all the way up through the first hour, OK? So now we can kind of follow this pattern. It's going to be $12 between 1 and 2 hours. Between 2 and 3 will be 18. Between 3 and 4 will be 24. Now, after this, we could say from our fourth hour and onward, really all the way through the whole day, right? Which would be 24 hours. So we could put a 24 right there. Okay, so this tells us between for one hour, I'm going to pay $6, $12, $18, $24. But then if I just decide to leave my car there for the rest of the day, the most money that I'm going to pay is $28 because that's the daily maximum. OK, so now let's show how we would graph this as a step function. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is graph 
y equals 6, and that's between 0 and 1 hour. So we could put an open circle here on 0 and a closed circle on 1, and we can draw our line between those two. Then we move up to $12 if we are between 1 hour and 2 hours. $12. Then we move up to $18 if we are between 2 hours and 3 hours. Then we move up to $24 if we are between 3 hours and 4 hours. And the last one is going to be kind of a longer line segment, right? Because this would be $28, which would be almost up here to 30, so a little bit below that 30 line. And this is from our past hour 4 all the way through 24 hours, which is all the way over here on my graph. Okay, So now I could draw my line here to connect those two. And that's what my step function would look like, right? So that shows me paying absolutely nothing if I don't park my car. But then as soon as I park my car through the first hour, it's $6. Through the second hour would be 12, through the third hour is 18, through the fourth hour is $24. And then after that fourth hour starts, I, or I guess when my fifth hour begins, um, $6 per hour would get me to $30, but there's a $28 maximum, um, and that's for the day, right? So from there, from hour four, um, past hour four, all the way through 24 hours, I'm only going to pay $28, okay? And so that's a little bit about step functions. <music>